Hello and welcome to Pew Word Creations. My name is Tahira. I have another poet journal that I made for storyteller and musician Shanta Narula. Um, and if you haven't seen that first poet video, I will link it below so that you can see how I made the cover. It is made with canvas and paint. And I have a button closure here on the front cover uh, with this button and sari silk. The spine is made with fabric that I eco dyed. And inside um, is fabric from Kenya. A friend of mine brought it back to, uh, to the States from Kenya uh, for one of their trips. And I wanted to keep the branding strip because it says genuine uh, or guaranteed real African wax um, fabric. Um, the signature starts with um, a canvas sheet that I printed a, a Giggle Glitter Graphics Digital on and then rust dyed that. Um, this card is from a Chicago-based um, shop called Reform School. Really, really pretty. And I did some stenciling in here as well. That's on some multimedia paper. Um, Shanta is an art journaler herself, so I left this pretty blank. Um, there's some coffee dyed paper and papers that I've gotten from uh, Tamara Crumble and Renee um, of Renee's at it again. This is from a vintage ebony magazine and I've backed it with some eco dyed file folder um, that I eco dyed. Really, really cute image there. Here's a playing card of African dancers that um, Renee gifted me and some stationery from Rose Colored Earth Co. Here's some of my rust dyed staff paper. And that's some paper that I've gotten from um, my printmaking teacher, uh, my monotype printmaking teacher. And this is a card from Pink Lomain. It says peace up on the top there. More coffee dyed paper from Tamara. And this is a glassine bag that I collaged on. There's some stenciling. There's um, a leaf there from some paper that Renee gifted me. Um, also an Asian calendar page and a digital from Over the Moon Academy. Um, these are of black poets words and um, she found some amazing images and in this glassine bag there is um, a journaling card some uh, vintage notepad paper from Renee and one of those smash book journaling prompt sheets I always have some extra paper clips for the recipient and there is a stamp there and I will um, make sure to put what it says in the description box I know it's uh, difficult to read um, there's a, a small sample of an intaglio print that I made in my class um, it's I made it with some some packaging actually and here is an art card from Denisio Truitt of an African mask. Um, I believe that her mom owned. And then she gold foiled it, which is really, really cool. And that's some tea dyed paper opposite that. Here is a digital from Kelly Malika. It's her Afro herbalist kit. And there's some tea dyed paper opposite that there's some rosemary morris eco dyed paper and in this bag some more uh just paper bits mini from renee that's some purple graph paper that i got at a re creative reuse shop in boise idaho here is a pocket um with a journaling card and it's actually the pocket oh and I, I also put down some paper that um, Cameron at Lotus and Nightshade gave me it's it's kind of a faux faux antique leather uh, paper and that is a book page that Tamara gifted me um, really really cute 
and it talks about storytelling so that goes right back to uh, the interest of the recipient there's another Denisio Truitt uh, card and a guest check inside of this purple lace that I got from Renee some more of my eco dyed paper and it's cool uh, lace fabric I don't even know where I got that from <laughs> um, but just thought it would fit into this journal more of Kelly Malika's digital it's a price tag that I got from a creative reuse shop some purple uh, just stock cardstock um, and that ticket I got from Tamara that writing paper I got from Teresa of Aceret Studio and this is a postcard of Gloria Naylor she was the author of the women of Brewster's place um, and I got that at the American Writers Museum in Chicago it's a really cool um, museum and that antique or um, vintage music flashcard um, is a copy of one that I got from Renee this is some teachers grading paper um, Shanta it was a teacher as well um, and I got that from wishes and read weeds wish wishes and weeds on Etsy uh, this bag was gifted to me and there's a really cool teacher flashcard and I either got that from Teresa or Renee more of my rust and eco dyed paper I think it really looks great in this journal and I got this postcard of an African mask um, from Zaire I believe and I got that from my local antique shop I just happen to have one that's a block away from me I try not to go in there too often <laughs> I have to restrain myself and this is a um, stamped card by one of the board members of my musical ensemble decomposed because Shanta was a part of our decomposition event that happened at Steppenwolf Theater in Chicago last year that is a, from a stamp set that I found at a creative reuse shop in Chicago also that stationery is from a creative reuse shop and I was gifted that uh, paper that I made into a tuck spot more Kelly Digitals and I love this ad of Flora Daishiki that was also from a vintage ebony and it's cool because it talks about um, the origins from India and Africa uh, Shanta is um, a jazz sitarist she studied in India um, and she also uh, tells retells a lot of stories from Africa and plays African instruments this is a sticker um, of Faith Ringgold's uh, painting and um, I got that at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago and I just went to her exhibit um, not too long ago the last day of it really really cool that's a Paul Lewin art card there and that uh, grace stamp is from Ebony's Moon here is a, a vintage Rolodex card from Renee and some other paper you know goings on <laughs> that Shanta can use and I eco dyed that bag and uh, just the other side of Rosemary Morris's eco dyed paper so beautiful some rust dyed craft paper Kelly Malika's digital and on this I just uh, glued down some textile that was dyed it's another music flash card not as vintage as the other one but one that I love to use in journals like these and some more of my rust dyed paper as a tuck spot Shanta's also a drummer it's 
So this card speaks to that. Trying to get it in focus there. Cool. And then I just happen to have this piece of music that says between the notes drone-like, and since Indian music has a lot of drones in it, um, I thought that would be fitting for this journal. Inside this side of the bag are some more writing spots. Here's some piano roll paper I got from Tamara. And this, uh, I guess, student survey card from um, a piano teacher uh, from Texas that I got from Renee. More of Tamara's beautiful coffee dyed paper. Here is a Bisa Butler art card. I also went to her exhibit at the um, Art Institute of Chicago some years ago. Another Denisio Truitt um, card. I usually don't put that many um, ephemera pieces from one artist in one journal, but her pieces were just speaking to this journal. I also did some light stamping on that page. Here is a canceled library date due card and another library catalog card from Teresa. Teresa gifted me these cool cards and that's from that says Lester Young who is a jazz jazz artist and this bookmark was also from a creative reuse shop. It has Barbara Jordan there on the bottom. And I got that Asian-inspired fabric from Tamara and more stationery from the Creative Reuse shop, actually. There's a lot of Creative Reuse shop items in here. This image was from a magazine. I can't remember where. I tried to do an image transfer of it some time ago, but it was kind of just floating around on my desk, and I just thought it fit this journal. So I laminated it and stitched around it. This is a women's health card from uh, Style 24 Designs. It's like a arthritis tonic. That, um, I think it's a Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck catalog card that I got from Renee. On the back are zithers. Really, really cool. And there's some natural fiber fiber paper from an old notebook of mine. And the tuck spot is actually the title, um, the language of music from a textbook that Tamara gifted me. And here's my sticker, more of that Kenyan fabric. And that trim was actually from the Creative Reuse shop as well. And that's the journal. Um, and I forgot to tell you the poet's favorite colors are purple, orange, and yellow. So those colors were also in this journal. And of course, I have some goodies that go along with this journal that you'll see in a minute. In this bag, there's some stickers, of course. <laughs> a note for how to use the journal. And I put that harp sticker in there because... Um, Shanta is a fan of Alice Coltrane, who is John Coltrane's wife and an amazing harpist. And even some stickers from Denise Truitt. And I found this beautiful art article on a jazz uh, trombonist, Melba Liston. Um, I didn't know about her, and that's an ebony magazine from 1977. So they were talking about her artistry, and I thought Shanta would um, really dig that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Take care.